We're heading to the frosts. I think the frost is going to be perfectly fine for us. Yeah, we got to choose this negative modifier from an event at the end of the last settlement. I, it was an event where we paid 10 artifacts to choose any modifier we wanted. And frost is what I went with. I think this is the least impactful negative modifier. So we get to do it and gain some embarkation points. Hopefully we'll succeed here. And then uh, and then we'll move on. Now, I, we're not going to have enough seal fragments because we're gaining only eight, oh, seven seal fragments. We'll be gaining eight seal fragments because we'll be playing on prestige 16. And that puts us at 103 out of the 105 required for the adamantine seal. Unless this is like five seal fragments here and then we could just go and do the seal immediately. But I'm really hoping that we finish this settlement within the next 16 years um, successfully. If we don't, then that might that's probably just the end of the cycle. Although I do have the option of going for another royal resupply. So even if we lose the settlement within 16 years, I do still have options to continue the settlement, uh, to continue the cycle and, and hopefully win against the Adamantine Seal. But to make our, our situation best against the Adamantine Seal, we want more embarkation points. So hopefully we do succeed here. Prestige 15, I'm not taking that. I'm taking 16. One pure blueprints to begin with, which definitely slows things down for sure. Now, seven, uh, we'll go with the nine people here. There's eight people here, which is not too bad, and they come with bricks. I do like having bricks or planks in our starting embarkation bonuses. These guys come with fabric, which is fine, and there are harpies, so actually using the fabric would be nice just to build some harpy houses. I think I will go with this. Having said that, lizards are pretty awesome. We have a trapper's camp that we can get. No, we can't. It's five points, and we only have four points to spend. I'm not dipping into our reserve embarkation boys. We'll just take two points for additional villagers and maybe the planks right here. I think that's a good start. Start with some bricks. The planks will definitely be better, I believe. Yeah. So being beside the frost means that we don't have as much room to build within our hearths area, but we can just build more hearths and then it's not really an issue. I'm not too concerned about it. We have gift from the woods. Okay, nice. Every drizzle season, we gain amber based on how many hostility levels we have reached. And then vanishing waters, we consume more drizzle water during the storm for in rain engines. Leakage, the heart's resistance has decreased by 200. That's actually, oh wow, okay, that's going to have an impact. Melancholy, people are upset if they don't have complex food and housing, and this starts at only three hostility. So, I mean, we just want to get our complex food going. That's always a thing. Greater threat, this one's nasty. For every dangerous or forbidden glade we've discovered throughout the settlement, we gain minus two to global resolve. So four hostility is a pretty harsh spot for us. Then we have the we have the frosts, of course, and we have gift of the gift of the woodlands, which means we gain more wood from the trees. So we have harpies, humans, and foxes. I'm not sure how I feel about having humans in this case. I don't feel that humans. Well, I guess humans and foxes share porridge. But that's not terrible. That's actually not that bad. Um, I should put a couple of woodcutters up, of course. We have a clearance geyser. And we have fertile soil over here. We'll wait for a moment, take our blueprint, and then we'll have a look at what the... Uh, sorry, take our cornerstone, and then have a look at what the blueprints are. We have three humans? Oh. That's interesting. Four of the... Out of the four random villagers we got, three of them were human. Prosperous archaeology and fungal guide. Well, I really like prosperous archaeology. If we had a training gear delivery line, fungal guide for mushroom production. We have, oh, we don't have mushrooms. Okay, there are mushrooms on the map. It's not guaranteed that we'll get them though. Hmm, I think that's pretty good. Prosperous archeology span is a really cool cornerstone. And we'll probably be doing tools and stuff at some point, right? Maybe we take this. Although tools aren't even... Oh, you know what? This is not the map to do it because we don't even have copper on the in the Royal Woodlands. So, no, this is not the map to be depending on caches. I know we can open them with stone. I don't think there's stone on the map. So it's going to be harder to make training gear. And I don't know that there's even sea marrow. There might be sea marrow on the map, but I'm not going to rely on it. We'll take fungal guide in the hopes that we find some mushrooms. That might seem like a strange choice, but it's the one I made. And... Building blueprints. Well, flower and planks is a great start. We'll take that. And then a small farm or a temple. I like the small farm for the guaranteed food. We have the fertile soil right over here. Which means if we just chop down those trees, we'll probably be able to get a farm going this year.
Opening a small glade does increase our hostility, but it doesn't contribute to that greater threat. I guess overall, I mean, it contributes to the greater threat in the way that it gets closer to it, uh, increasing our hostility, but I'm not super concerned about that. Now, I did want, I guess we should build ourselves some buildings here. Hang on, supplier, get that up first, and then we'll worry about the housing. What does this take? Planks and bricks. You know what we can do is we can build a couple of harpy houses right off the bat. We have 21 fabric to go, and I don't mind doing that. So I want to put it somewhere we have room. We don't have much room at the moment. We'll put it out here. That's fine. And okay, so 21 bricks. We're gonna have our planks. We have a fair amount. May as well get ourselves the crude workstation going, of course. I'll put this just across from it. Not gonna bother producing water skins, but yeah, you guys can use whatever you like for the flour and the planks. We don't have a use for the flour. I guess we could build a um, field kitchen here. Let's get that going. All right, small glade has been opened. We have the fertile soil. We have clay available to us. That's good. Happy to see that. It's always nice to be able to make bricks. And we'll put our farm right there. It's not a lot of fertile soil, but it's something. And I'm going to probably, I'm going to turn off the plant fiber gathering from it. We'll just get vegetables. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. This is a small farm. Sorry, it's grain and vegetables. Yeah, that's pretty good. We will not turn off the grain. <laughs> we'll use it for our flour. In fact, you know what I want to do is, for, well, it's too late now. They've used the mushrooms. I was going to prevent them using from mushrooms for those, for the, uh, for the flower, but they did it already. Let's turn off the fuels here, and water would be nice to make porridge. We'll be generating grain, so that's pretty good. Biscuits, apparently we don't have those resources for biscuits. We can get a herbalist camp going, so we can make berries and put them into those yummy biscuits. I wonder what kind of biscuits do they make like berry biscuit i guess i guess just is it like a scone i wonder we'll put a couple of foxes in there so we can have the humans working in the small farm which is more efficient actually they don't need to be there until the storm arrives so we'll hold off on that how are we doing on food for these guys we almost have enough vegetables oh that's so close i probably could have gotten them going much sooner also we already opened a glade i should have check the orders before opening the glade. Oh, have six shelter, gain better pa uh, pack of goods production, and a bathhouse. The bathhouse is good in this situation. Foxes and harpies both like tea. And we get some parts and reputation. I think we're going to go for that. How much wood do we have? We have enough to make six shelters. An issue would be housing, um, land though. So one, two, three, we'll just go four, five, six like this, I think. And we'll accept that timed order. Pretty good. And what else do we have? Another timed order. There you go. Cut through the forest to discover three glades. We already cut through the forest for one glade. I... You know what? Maybe I should have waited until we were done with the house one before I picked this. Because I would like to do this one. The tool shop gives us three star tools. Although, again, I don't know about our source of copper or crystallized dew. Not sure how we'll be getting any of that. So maybe the tool shop is not the best choice. Cut through the forest and discover three ruins at this point, or three glades, and then also find a ruins at this point. Might be a bit of an ask. We don't mind opening this glade for the water. We'd like to get that clearance water for porridge right now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess opening three glades isn't too difficult. We need our people doing a lot of things right now. We can give it a try. Why not? I mean, at worst, we end up with a ton of hostility, lose a lot of people, and that's the game. Just kidding. That's not going to happen. Deliver 40 flour, deliver 40 eggs. We have 20 eggs, so we're not doing that. Better pie production would be pretty cool, though. Our uh, humans and harpies both like pie. Better grain production. You know what? Let's take this, because we are producing grain in the farms. So we will increase our grain production. We need to open these glades somewhat quickly. And... Yeah, let's move this guy over here so he's nice and close. And then, oh, what do we do for the third glade? Do we open a dangerous glade? I don't really want to, to be honest. But that's the most likely to have runes in there. I don't even know if runes can spawn in this small glade. I, they probably can. I'm having troubles thinking of any instances where they did. 
So, you know what? Looks like we're going to have to go down here. Move this house out of the way so we can actually put our woodcutters close to the trees. Yeah, we're going to do this. Hmm. This is probably pretty risky. But we're doing it. Uh, herbless camp, I do need food. Don't want to run out of food at any point. We'll take a guy out of the supplier. And... Okay, they're delivering the flour, so that's good. So we'll have flour on hand for our biscuits. And what else can we do? Actually, we want a human in the hearth to slow impatience growth. Put a harpy there. Yeah, only two guys running around building things at the moment. Um... How long? They only have two minutes left. Actually, hold on. Oh, shoot. What can we take people out of? Woodcutting is pretty much it. Uh, we can take them out of the supplier. That's fine. I'm going to take two woodcutters out because we want to get these houses built. We only have two minutes for that. Looks like we have enough wood for it. That's good. Right, they're going to get through to that glade and this one and then we just have to hope that we have a ruins in here if not it's not the end of the world we'll miss out on an event on a on an order we'll survive are they building this okay our oh okay our resolve is okay the foxes are just a little bit unhappy they're going to have this done in time which is excellent there's no ruins in this glade but we did get that grit that water geyser There you go. Timed orders are ready to complete. I'm pretty sure it completes it on its own, even if we let it expire. But that's okay. We'll, we'll do that. I just realized I want to turn off the sea marrow. Actually, I'm going to keep the sea marrow on. Just promote everything above it. And keep the coal on as well, but under the, the wood. I, I'd like it if we could choose to have that order for everything all the time. We might be able to. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I didn't notice anything in the options menu that lets us rearrange things. Now, this guy is outside of the range of the hearth. That's okay. I messed up a little bit on that, but we don't really need the housing right now. We have a ton. But we would like to have a park. Put one of those down. And I'm going to favor the foxes here to keep them happy. The harpies will drop and resolve, and then we'll unfavor them and do that bouncy stuff. It gets us through the storm a little ways without having people leave. Um, okay. If you guys could cut down these trees, I would really appreciate it. Here we go. They're all good because we got that park up, so our hearth is upgraded to give plus two resolve. A new building blueprint? Let's have a look at this. Cookhouse and a brewery. I would really like a cookhouse. The skewers are nice for the foxes, the biscuits are nice for the harpies and the humans. That's some good stuff. In fact, let's get rid of... Well, let's let's hold on to this. But let's build the cookhouse and start making our biscuits. We're not going to be putting people in the field kitchen for a little while here. Also, I'm going to turn off making biscuits here. I don't want them to accidentally do that once I do put people in there. And... Yeah, use whatever you want for biscuits. We'll turn off the pigment. Very nice. Low on food is not so good. Oh, oh. I want to have humans in here. Except people. Three people. Mm, even with copper bars. We'll take these guys. And we'll put another one in the small farm. Are they going to cut down these trees? I'm, I'm getting the feeling they just don't want to. Hold on. Oh, no. There was another tree in the way, so they're cutting down other stuff. Oh, man. That's okay. Not the end of the world if we don't get the order done. I would really like to, of course, but... Yeah. Shoot. That's a shame. Three minutes remain. I Three minutes is still long enough to get an order... Uh, to get a... Uh, oh my gosh. A ruins salvaged? Pretty sure? Maybe not rebuild. I think rebuilding takes longer. Ancient Pact or Mist Pierces. What a choice. Well, this is ironic that we just got it when we opened the glade. Let's have a quick look at the glade. We do have a ruins with a distillery. Distillery for better porridge production is fine. How long does this take? Two minutes, 14 seconds. We can do this in time. And we don't have... Oh, we don't have the building materials. Can I delete something for bricks? I certainly could. We could delete our cookhouse for bricks. We could delete our field kitchen as well. Nope, it doesn't have bricks. Okay. We can delete our supplier, but I'm really not inclined to do so. Alright, we'll delete the cookhouse temporarily. 
just to get the bricks and the planks so that we can do this. We have the fabric for it. We'll send three foxes so they can do it in 49 seconds, hopefully carry everything over real fast. A new cornerstone for Miss Pierce's or Ancient Pact. This is really interesting. I think we'll take the Ancient Pact because it only it only hurts us when we discover a dangerous or forbidden glade, whereas Miss Piercers hurts us when we discover any glade. And Ancient Pact is less impatience gain. So I just feel this better. Wow, that's really interesting. We're going to have to be careful about what we're opening, though. Um, fortunately, we can be careful because it lets us see what's in each glade. I love it. It's a really, it's a really strong cornerstone for sure. So 30 amber we have from something. I don't know what that came from, but we can send this to the Citadel for a half a reputation point. We are absolutely going to do that. I'd love to put a fox in here. It doesn't really matter who we put in there because they're going to get it completed in time anyway. We'll just send a harpy. That will be fine. Um, we want more woodcutters as well. Put a woodcutter there. We should be working on some building materials. Oh! Oh, we still need to open another glade. Right. We're only at two out of three because we had already opened this one. I forgot. So, Drizzlewing Nest, Clay Deposit. We're, we'd like to find some mushrooms if possible. Any mushrooms around? I see a golden treasure stick. But we're not going to take that because... Well, not right now anyways, because it would force us to go to one of these dangerous glades. But we definitely don't want to be doing that at this time. Drizzlewing Nest or Slickshell Brood Mother is not bad. It comes with a Trapper's Camp upgraded. I like that a lot. It just comes with an upgraded Trapper's Camp for us. That certainly seems like the best option. Drizzle Water Geyser? Pretty sweet. Oh man, Ancient Pact is incredible. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut our way through to this, hopefully within the next 2 minutes 46 seconds. Um, that's 4 trees. I really hope they're able to do it. Put these guys down here. These guys up here. Alright. I like how I refer to that as down and that to up. Our new orders are... Another time one. I'm not taking this, obviously, because we don't have those resources. Need for biscuits fulfilled and have human housing? We could do that. Or have a workshop. Uh, we already have the plank production. I'm not really in favor of getting a workshop just for this order. So we'll just take the other one. And then need for jerky fulfilled would be nice to do. Have 12 foxes and keep them happy. We're already at three. Oh, we're only at three foxes. Okay. We would get a druid's hut, which is not bad. Oil production is fine. I don't know that we have the resources for it. We can actually, we can make it oil from grains. That would be pretty good. Or need for jerky fulfilled. I'm sure we'll get this one done eventually. I think I'll take this one though. Fox population. And we'll aim for foxes from newcomer groups. They'll have this done in 40 seconds. Really, the question is whether they'll have these trees cut down in 40 seconds. Or in two minutes, I guess. Running out of food is not a good situation to be in. But we'll be able to rebuild the trapper's camp and get some meat production going. And then I also need to have people working on bricks. Um, they got this opened up so we can make forge. We should build that geyser. Hang on. Geyser pump. Up here. And somebody rebuild this trapper's camp, please. We have a lot of parts, actually. That's nice. I'll just send three people to do that. Time burgers are ready to complete. Excellent. We get free reads. Which means we'll never have a problem with fabric. And it actually does let us do certain blade events as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't let us open caches. But we'll make do. We got another fertile, uh, patch of fertile soil, which is nice. Herbalist camp upgrade would be pretty good. Two-star fabric production is fine, but I'm not excited by the water skins or the pigment. We don't really care for containers in this game. I think I'll take the water herbalist camp upgrade. It gives us more berries. We have roots over uh, roots are for the forger's camp. What am I saying? And yeah, we actually don't have much for them to gather. I, I I thought there was a lot more on the map for them. Oh well, my mistake. We would like to make forge um, in the distillery. Also, we can make ourselves a path out here. All right, not bad. Yeah, we need to get through the starvation situation, but we have a lot of food on the map, so I'm not too worried. Put a couple of foxes in there. The other fox can go over here and build a geyser pump, and then we will... Well, I'm not sure what we'll do. <laughs> we need to put people in here for the porridge. Don't bother making the barrels or the wine, of course. 
And we're not doing so great on grain, but we'll be getting a lot more because the clearance season is arriving. They've planted a decent amount. Okay, oh, wait a second. Turn off the plank production. I hope they haven't been doing that. And yeah, we're fine for the other things. Actually, I'll turn off stone for the bricks. Rather use clay. Low on food, of course. How about building this? Okay, I think he's going to do it. There you go. I guess he brought the re resources over and then decided to go back and do something else. We'll put one guy in here. He'll gather the clearance water. These gents are gathering meat. This person's doing this for the next five minutes and then they'll be done and we'll be okay with there. Hmm. Did I remove woodcutters? How are we doing on wood? 197. Quite good. All right. Well, then let's take a woodcutter or two out. We'll put them in the distillery. Actually, if we could put foxes in there, that would be better boxes or humans, but we are a little low on humans. We're a little low on both, I guess. We'll take a human out. We will... Actually, I'd rather have humans in there, or foxes in there, because the foxes have lower resolve. So we'll do this. Put a couple foxes in there right now just to get it going. Oh, we don't have much flour, do we? Okay, we'll, we'll keep one fox out. That's fine. Put him in the Keep gathering wood. We'll probably need to remove woodcutters this storm just to reduce hostility. So having more wood in advance is nice. Oh, also putting harpies in the supplier would be a good idea. We're low on planks. We have flour. No big hurry on that. I'm actually going to set a limit of 30 on the flour. Just because I don't want to be consuming all of our resources. And we'd rather use grain in this case, I think. I'd rather use herbs grain and then on oh yeah we don't have the cookhouse because i had to cancel that so i can't set anything on that just yet yeah we need a lot more resources for that while they're working on it no worries in their time i it would probably help them if i got them some of the resources for the bricks we have two star clay down here that's nice all right resolve is a little bit low we can remove some of our woodcutters i think it would be nice to have more workers so, uh, more builders. We'll take those guys out. We'll put a harpy in the supplier. And we can accept people because we have a lot of housing. It might raise our hostilities further. We'll just take another woodcutter out. No problem there. Now, we do want foxes either between the harpies and the humans. I don't think we have a preference, but there is a fair amount of fertile soil. So, I think we'll take the humans. And maybe just build ourselves another small farm. That could be a good idea. Do we have fertile soil over here? Not really, no. Okay. Get these farm fields going, put humans in there, and uh... Ooh, the harpies are unhappy. Because of the increased hostility. That's okay. We'll favor them for now, and we'll take a woodcutter out in a moment. Um, we really need those bricks going, because we'll have to build a blight post soon. Um, favor or remove the woodcutters. Unfavor. Good. Some guys can't pass to go up. Come on, guys, you can do it. And I do want to build a hearth. We need space for it, though. Uh, right now, we're doing okay on space around our current hearth, but having another hearth up would be wonderful anyway. We'll put a harpy and a fox in here. We can gather that clay. What are we doing on this? Nowhere near getting any of those things. We don't have any production for those resources. I think Sea Marrow is on this map. I could check it, but I'm not going to. I'll remove these two guys. I'd rather just continue to think about it. I uh, guess we should... Well, we can't put up a cookhouse right now. We'll place the blight post and they'll get it built when they have the resources. I'm going to put it... Ooh, do we put it all the way down there? Oh, we can put it beside the warehouse. That's a great, better idea. Put our blight post right here. 20 out of 40 flour. Actually, I didn't realize that. If we made more flour, then we would be able to complete that order. So let's uh, let's build some flour up. Low on food. Basic ingredients. Out of food. What else can we do here? So we have the two star trappers going. That's nice. I think. Oh, we may as well get a forge camp. We have the resources on the map. But we really need somebody working in here. I can't make biscuits. We can make forge. Is there someone making forge? They are. 
we have the resources for more? Oh, we have a fair amount of wheat. That's good. Let's get a human in there. Actually, yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it. I should probably put a fox in there. Again, because they have the lower resolve, but oh well. Alright, we're making porridge. That'll help a lot. It'll generate definitely more food for us, of course. Making porridge out of water and wheat means free food, really. Okay, bed and breakfast or deep pockets. Um, I'm not excited by either of these. Getting amber is fine, but I'd rather get something that gives us more resources. Okay, friendly relations or tanning racks, these are not great. I guess we'll take the friendly relations. We'll be doing trading routes at some point, I imagine, although we don't have good herb production for the packs and provisions. Um, nah, I'm going to re-roll this again. Feels bad. Cannibalism or Fiery Wrath? Okay. This isn't going so well. I guess we'll take... No, I'm re-rolling again. Fruit delivery line. Uh, Alright. 10 jerky for every 10 pie produced is good. We like that. We'll hopefully get pie, uh, pie production and then be able to make use of it. New orders. What do we have? I shouldn't have re-rolled there. That was my mistake. So, deliver a bunch of packs. Things get better pack production. Or deliver scrolls and get a forum. Uh, we'll do the packs one because it's easier, I think. Uh, need for religion fulfilled or complete at least three events by making decision loyalty. I think we're more likely to do this one. I'm not definitely not going to be aiming for religion, and it's not something that generally happens by accident. So, we should have woodcutters going. We have four people available to us. I'll put two people woodcutting. We do need to clear space for a hearth at some point. This is probably where we'll put it. If with the uh, with the frosts. We can actually fit these hearths pretty close together, which is hilarious. So that helps a lot. Um, we'll put the woodcutters... Just tell them to clear the area down here. Just do that, I guess. Okay, still low on food, but we do have food. So people are not starving, and that's what I really care about. We don't have bricks, though. Are you making them? Yes, you are. And then you can deliver four... Which is not enough yet. We'll put another guy in here. Field kitchen. We don't need the porridge. We already have porridge production. Waiting on better biscuits. We can deliver basic ingredient. Gain two people, some porridge, and better grain production. Very worth it. We didn't get a building blueprint from it, though. That's too bad. But the two people will help us, of course. I don't have anything for them to build other than this plate post. Oh. We're good on that. Hold on. I bet they're stockpiling a bunch of only two planks, really. Okay. Can I get another harpy in here? So Woodcutter's camp can be replaced by a fox. And I'm also going to put another fox there. We'll have just one human doing the building for us. Oh! There's a farm up. I forgot I built this. <laughs> what is going on? The foxes are very happy. They got forage, that's why. Right. I think we'll take a human out of the distillery for now. This guy is delivering a lot of porridge, so that'll give him some time to stockpile more afterward. Huh. Alright, cool. Well, we'll get some more resources out of that. The foxes are happy enough to gain a 0 0.06 result for reputation per minute. Wow. Amazing. 227 wood still. Being in the Royal Woodlands definitely does have its perk. And we'll move our wood, our trap camp down a little bit further. I like this. There's a little fence beside the road. It's cute. What is in these dangerous places? I would like to get this. That there's that golden stag. Are we not building this, guys? We have six planks. Build it. Go. Okay, we got to get people out of other things to go build it for us. Stone Exterior's camp. We have enough bricks now, so we'll just keep one guy in there. And I guess we'll take the woodcutters' camps out. Can you guys just, like, build it, please? Uh, this sort of stuff scares me, you know? Okay. It's clearance season. We have 300% corruption. We really need to get this stuff going. Um, harpies have a chance of doubling, so we'll take them out of the trapper's camp. Put them all in the blight post. Okay. There we go. We got that. We need people gathering meat because food is nice to have. There we go. All right. All right. We're good. Now building a cookhouse is our next priority. 
Building a forbidden altar would be nice. We're not doing so great on bricks right now. I know I just took somebody out of the play production. And doing that means that we have less play available for bricks. Hmm. Do I put somebody back in? We don't have any builders. Well, that's okay. We don't have the resources to build anyway. We're working on the planks. Working on the bricks. Actually, we do have the bricks for the cookhouse. How many planks do we have stock off? None. Okay. Oh, there you go. Four newcomers. That was pretty quick. I feel we just accepted newcomers. So five more people, four more people, and we actually have one homeless. We definitely want to get ourselves... Hmm. We're going to get ourselves some more homes. I could accept it for parts. We're running low on parts. I know we have some orders that will give us more. But I don't want to run out, so we'll take the four people here. And we can move this over a little bit for five wood. That gains us another bit of housing and we'll just build ourselves another harpy house or two and do that to keep the harpies happy cost us fabric which we don't particularly care need, care for i find most things cost planks and bricks fabric is not usually an issue in terms of resources and those foxes are very happy with their porridge oh Close. Close to gaining another reputation. Cool. Um, Alright, we gathered a bunch of food from our farms. That's good. Next up, making stuff in the field kitchen, building a cookhouse, etc. Are we doing okay on Blightfuel? Yes, we are. Good job. They did a great job with that. Very happy. I'm going to set a limit of 15, I think. Yeah. We are going to have a fuel problem soon. And our harpies are a little bit unhappy. Of them. We got this burnt very very that's great. Our boxes are unhappy. We'll take woodcutters out, but it's not enough. We didn't have much many woodcutters to begin with. So what are we gonna do here? I guess we have to burn some goods. We don't have a whole lot to burn. Which is unfortunate. Uh, skewers are allowed to be used if you guys manage to get your hands on those resources. I'm going to put one fox and one harpy in here. Uh, okay. Like, I think we have over 40. Yeah, we have 49 hostilities. So burning some wood won't even help us in this situation. We have to burn coal. Kind of too bad. But holding on to villagers is important. And... Yeah. We'll be okay. The cookhouse is apparently working on something, so that's good. We'll have food coming from them. That food is going to make our people happier. We'll be alright. Low on food. Well, hopefully we don't run out. Okay. We're going to make it to the end of the storm here. We have seven coal remaining. Um, I can... No, we can't wait that out. Uh oh it's close. We're gonna run out of coal. But, the storm ends. Hey, alright, we made it. Good. New cornerstone, workers' rations. We consume more, but we have a chance of producing... 10% chance of producing double yields. Rudy ground for better wood production, but harvesting planting are slower. That's not going to be a good choice for us. We'll take the workers' rations because we have no other choice. It's also good. I, I would have taken it anyway. Just need to find um, some more food a little quickly. Dangerous glades in time. I don't think we're completing that one. Dangerous glade events completed. Any four dangerous forbidden glade events. I mean, maybe we'll get that done eventually. Not impossible. Loyalty decisions. If we had tools, that would be fine. We need wood for sure. We don't have many people for wood cutting. Let's get these guys going. Hmm. Feel our woodcut. Oh, we can take somebody out of there. But yeah, our food production is pretty important right now. And I. Oh! Take people out of the blight post, of course. Jeez. They're consuming our wood. They've got enough fuel reserves as it is. This guy's sitting here not doing much because we're not really consuming a lot of water. Actually. There's water. We can use it in the supplier. Do I need it in the supplier? Like, why not, right? 
more efficiency. Sure. There you go. Getting used to the out of that box. Guys hitting the geyser. Um bricks would be nice. Is there anything I need to build? We've got a bathhouse. We've got a tool shop. Uh low on fuel. That's not good. 30 fuel. Well, we're doing fine on fuel. No worries. Foxes are happy, so we're about to gain a reputation from them within the next minute. Also, we got gift from the woods at some point, so we have, we should have a lot of amber. I forgot about that. Let's build ourselves a trading post. Put it in the corner over here. And I could get our guys a road out to the geyser. Is it time to build a hearth? Almost. We almost have enough bricks. I'll put it up. Uh, might be a little silly, but I'd like to cut down that one tree, please. New building blueprint, tavern, and a kiln. I like the kiln for the coal production. And better brick production, too. Lima's Tales is also quite good. Leisure and luxury, though, are not important to us. Yeah. I The kiln is nice. So we'll build one of those. It does take all of our bricks... But then we get better brick production. So I think we'll do that before the hearth. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, we need builders, of course. Who will we take out to build things? These guys are working hard, right? Like, yeah, they've got the resources. They're making food, keeping our people alive. We can take a woodcutter out, but I want to have more wood for the storm. I'm a little concerned about the storm. Distillery, stonecutter's camp. Hmm. I think I'm out of the geyser pump for now. He'll do some building for us. Time to get the kiln going. And we can make jerky here. I think I'm going to turn off the jerky production temporarily just because I don't want to consume our fuel for it. Newcomers. Oh, hey, look at that. Newcomers. Perfect. So. Oh. Thanks. You know, I'm, I'm rethinking this. We should probably build another hearth. Because another hearth lowers our hostility, and we gain resolve when we get the part going with those houses, and we can move the houses over. We'll need to build a couple houses for the newcomers here anyway, but, uh, and these guys come with planks. Hey, look at that. Three foxes. Guess it's very close to fox population. So we'll cancel this. Oh, cancel button. Cancel that. He's got that tree chopped down. We'll build ourselves a hearth. I think that makes sense. We're getting a trading post up. So we'll see a trader soon. I'm not sure what they'll come with. Actually, hopefully they come with bricks. That would be wonderful. Oh, yes, yeah, Zorg. No, he doesn't have any bricks. He has planks, though. Do I buy planks? I could. I certainly could. Biscuits can be produced in the kiln and rain mill. We don't need that because we have a cookhouse anyway. Harvesting crops is faster. Ooh. And farmers can carry additional items. I I don't know how important that is. Apparently we're doing very well on planks. Do I build human houses? I, human houses take bricks. Fox houses use crystallized dew. It's too bad, eh? I could buy some foodstuffs, though. Like, having a bunch of mushrooms would be nice. Having some oil could be good for fuel. I actually think I might buy some oil. It's 0.25 each. That's kind of expensive. Mushrooms are kind of expensive, too. Look at that. Um, do we have this thing? Need for jerky anywhere? No, I didn't take that one. Need for biscuits fulfilled is important. Man, I wish he came with bricks. That would have been so nice. Well, we can trade you for sure. Six packs of provisions, apparently. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy some mushrooms. 18 and if I sell you all of my amber okay that gets us a lot of planks which really reduces the requirements on our wood right then we can use wood for fuels so I like that idea and we could buy some oils as well let's just do that we'll do all this trading get a bunch of goods it makes things a little easier for us how are we doing on trade routes so selling copper ore is an option 37 um you know what? I'm going to pass on that. I'd rather hold on to the packs of provisions right now. Doing final clearance water. 
they're hopefully going to be building this. Oh, we're missing a brick. You making bricks? Yes, you are. Let's add a helper. Get off. All right, deliver now. Good. Now we have the bricks for the hearth. And we can build some more harpy houses. How many do we have? We have one, two, three. Oh, we already have four. So another harpy house is only going to house one harpy. We can do it anyway. But it's not the most amazing building to build right now. We need... Apparently we have bricks for human houses. I don't know how that maths out because we didn't have enough bricks for the hearth. Delivered two. And now we have three extra. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. That's all right. We'll build a human house that works us towards the human relatives um, order. And then another, what do we do? Let's move some harpy houses over. Does it cost only five wood for these guys? Yeah. Build a couple of them over here, as well as another shelter, I think. Now let's put another human house down. And we'll hope, Hello. we'll hope that we get the bricks for it somewhat soon. I can put a park down as well. Our people are a little unhappy. We'll put the park right here. Put a path there. And that's because of greater threat. Greater threat's gonna have a big impact. Our people are still unhappy though. This is scary. What can we do about this? Well, foods are important. Apparently the distillery is not keeping up with forage. Let's add a guy in here to help. I think oh, we'll put a fox in there. We have the water for sure. Oh, look at all this food we have. Awesome. That's good. There's no limit on the porridge, guys. And I'm going to say there's no limit on these other things either. We have the flour. We are running out of roots. That's too bad. We have the stuff for skewers, though. So just, uh, yeah, just make all those skewers. I'm going to put harpies in here, actually. No corruption to deal with. We could put one guy in here. That'll make him a little bit happier. What else can we do? Herbalism. We're doing fine on food. We're doing okay on food. Which means, what do we need to do to make them happy? Huh. Frustrated. Why are they frustrated? What does that even mean? Is that the greater threat? Oh no, melancholy. <gasps> we need complex foods. Badly. Um, That jerky. I was going to build the kiln for jerky. Let's get a guy in... Here, making jerky. Put a couple of humans. You guys do your thing. Using some of our wood, unfortunately, but yeah, if we get jerky filled, then that'll help with melancholy or the frustrated, whatever it is. I think we'll also have to burn some wood. Okay, that does save us. Come on. I hope. Are you serious? What an ungrateful cook. Okay. We were burning wood just for you. That's right. Him leaving lowered our hostility, which saves us a lot of wood in the long run. So it's actually probably a good thing. <laughs> probably the better outcome for us, to be honest. I will move that. Trapper's camp, of course. Low on food. Are you kidding? Where did all of our food go? Leakage, vanishing water. Hmm. Here's all was low. We'll favor them for a moment. Human resolve is low and boxes are leaving. Okay. Uh oh. We're still low. Uh oh. 116 wood. Alright. I don't want everybody to leave. favoring them before they hit the red because they're about to leave. I don't want them to do that. Okay, the harpies are going to be okay. And then we've reached the end of the storm. No problem. Oh, I didn't build a forbidden temple. It's a little bit late. Forbidden Forsaken altar, that's what's called. We don't have the bricks anyway. I still need to build our, cell, our uh, kiln. This guy right here. Let's get him up and going. Okay. New cornerstone. Secure trail, value added tax. I guess we'll take value added track tax. Maybe we'll make packs of trade goods. I don't know. 
Uh, need for pie fulfilled? Biscuits fulfilled. We would love to do that at some point, so we'll take it. Now, that's that. We have a fox in the geyser. They're building that house, so we won't have any homeless, hopefully. And we're at two out of eight human houses. And plus two to resolve. Look at that. Makes all of our foxes and harps quite happy. What are we still lacking for food? Why are we still lacking for food? We have so much food production going on. Uh, Drizzle Water Geyser. There was one right over here, right? Yeah, there is. So let's open up these trees. Also, I need to put some woodcutters in. Let's not forget to do that. Almost halfway into the drizzle, into the drizzle season. So can I put you guys in here anywhere? I guess that works. I need woodcutters, of course. And we're going to have to take people out of something else. We're somehow running low on food. I don't know what we're cons how we're consuming so much, but that's okay. They're hungry people. They're allowed to eat. We'll take somebody out of the crude workstation. Put this over. Where should we go? We'll just open trees here. Doesn't really matter. I need a lot more wood, though. In two minutes, we'll be accepting a new group of foxes, and hopefully, uh, our new group of newcomers, and hopefully they have foxes. That would be very helpful. What's funny is I don't think we're able to get access to these trees here. So I might just tell them to chop down that one so we can get to it. If I favor the foxes, we'll be gaining some reputation, so I'll do that. And here are our foxes. Yeah, two and two, perfect. Added bricks. I would like to have bricks. Herbs is nice too for the food production, of course, but we get some grain over here, so it's not that bad. I have three homeless now, and in 20 seconds we'll be able to complete that order for another building blueprint. Although we're actually going to reach that building blueprint on our own with the resolve. This comes with some clay and some drizzle wing nests. That's okay. Fertile soil over there. Dewberry bush and fertile soil. That's not a bad option right there. I think we might open that. And we need to move this guy over here. Oh no, there's there's roots in the way. Wow, this is unfortunate. So, okay, chop down those trees, I guess. Bliss has no bricks. Oh, she does have bricks. Oh, I would like those bricks. I would also like the plus one to global resolve. Uh, that's a tough choice. But bricks is where we're, I guess bricks is not really an issue for us. All we need to do is just put another guy in the stonecutter's camp. We have seven people, so we can do that. I'd rather get the plus one to global resolve. And we'll say that's good enough, I think. Or just buy four bricks. Yeah, sure. Pretty good stuff. And then completing this gains us some parts and a druid's hut for the oil production. I We have a kiln, so I don't particularly want the oil production now. Selling stone. Where do we get stone? Well, apparently. Okay, new building blueprint. So, apothecary or a workshop. We did pass on that order for the workshop. The apothecary lets us make tea, which is helpful to us. But for tea, we need crystallized dew or copper. And I just don't see us getting much of that. So, I'm going to hold off on picking this. We might take the workshop. I know I passed on that order for it, but... Uh, better brick production is okay. We have one star brick production at the kiln. I might just wait and save up some amber and then re-roll. Oh yeah, speaking of the kiln, we should put someone in there. Let's get our three harpies in there and we'll put somebody in the stone cars camp right. help out with that oh i should tell them not to bother making actually you get make all of it really that's better jerky production we can tell these guys to calm down with the jerky once they're done with that and well you know what take him out have a couple of people helping here oh harpies like this or they're strong at it. We can take... What did I just put them in? I put them in the cookhouse. Oh, we'll place the guys in the cookhouse. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, I clicked the light post, I think. Whoops. Alright. Yeah, we already had our piece in here. That's fine. We'll turn off these fuels and definitely make coal, definitely make bricks. Nice. Actually, you know what? Stop making the jerky here. It's just more efficient if we make it elsewhere. 
Um, we're not getting containers for pickled goods. We'll just delete this. Hopefully it returns all of our resources back. Yeah, it does. And Bliss is still here. We don't need to buy anything. We don't have the amber at the moment. Okay, we'll get that opened up. And then I'm also going to tell them to open this small glade over here. I know it increases our hostility, but eventually we'll get to this golden treasure stag. I like those guys. And we have a dewberry bush here for better, more food production. We're not making use of that drizzle of, uh, of that upgraded herbalist camp right now. So drizzle water geyser. Let's get that going. And move these guys over here. I'm not going to stop favoring the, the foxes. Look at that. We're getting 0.25 per minute. I don't really understand what determines how much we get per minute. Obviously, it's based on population, but you see it's still going up right now. 0.26 per minute. Is it based on how high they are over the threshold? That must be it. A new... Oh yeah, we already saw this. We don't have the amber for it. We're rolling it. A new fertile grounds is nice. I think we will probably end up putting our uh, farm on there. How are we doing on... Okay, we only have three wild presents. I'd rather make another hearth with that wild presence. So we're not going to use the automaton. So that's my thinking here. However, the drizzle water is very nice to have. And that dewberry bush can be gathered. It's only one. Maybe I should pay attention to that. That's okay. We'll just have one guy working on it. And we'll build ourselves a farm in preparation for when the storm hits. I want to build the farm, please. Yeah. All right, pretty good. We're doing pretty well on food. I like it. And for that drizzle water, getting the cookhouse going is obviously a very good option. We don't have pipes, apparently. We need copper. Did Bliss have copper? Maybe I missed that. Maybe we could have bought copper from Bliss. Nope. None of that stuff. How are we doing on tools, actually? Let's stop favoring these foxes because it makes everyone else unhappy. Oh, we have 12 tools. Not bad. Also, flax gives play as well, and insects. Uh, everybody's really upset. Let's take them out. We still have four hostility. That's scary. What can we do about this? Well, humans in there helps. What can we do about our hostility level? We got another building blueprint. That's nice. We'll take the workshop. Uh, no, we'll take the apothecary. In case we find a source of crystallized dew or copper, then we can make tea. We have the bathhouse, at least. Coat production seems obvious to me. Yeah, take the coat production. And we can build that. Where the heck? We already had coat production. <laughs> I missed that. Cooper's, though. Oh, oh, oh. Forbidden altar. I want one of those. And we don't need it to be here. We can put it over there. I think I'd rather put it right here and put a hearth down this way. Oh. Can we clear these trees? Let's do that. And then we'll put the hearth over here. Of course, we don't have any woodcutters right now. I know I know that. <laughs> um, not opening that glade. Yeah, I, I don't think I should have opened this small glade here. It increased our hostility a little bit too much. So we'll burn some wood. And melancholy is still a thing. The harpies do have complex foods. Who is not eating complex foods right now? weird. Alright, we'll need to burn some more wood just to keep the harpies around. Actually, you know what? I think we'll stop burning the wood and just let a harpy go. Because that lowers our hostility level. We're doing fine on impatience. I'm really not concerned about our impatience at this point. This way we can favor the harpies. We're not consuming any wood. That's a much better plan. Okay, they did eat some food. That's good. So, Forbidden Altar. Cheap construction. I'm going to turn off Pay With Blood. Trade logs, overexploitation, and cheap construction. Um, Detailed notes on different traders and their wares. Gain two act additional active trade root slots. Traders arrive quicker and have more cornerstones on sale. That's a really strong one, but it doesn't help as much. I'm not doing much trading. I haven't even built a place that can make packs and provisions. Newly discovered resource nodes have more charges. That's okay. We're somewhat relying on farms at this point. Cheap construction is okay, too. I guess we'll do this. I don't know what happens if we de decline. Do we? It doesn't re-roll it, does it? I don't imagine it re-rolls it. So, cheap construction helps. Yeah, sure. Make buildings for half the cost. Pretty cool. And then, Forbidden Seal Shard. We 
Oh, every Glade event solved by making decision marks is corruption. Increases the chance of workers producing double yields by 5%. We haven't done any corruption stuff. Firekeeper's Prayer is pretty sweet. Glade event work speeds increase by 30% and resources burn for 30% longer. Blood Rice Contract gives us 20 Amber and 1 Ancient Tablet every time a villager dies or leaves. Um, I mean, we just let somebody go. So it's a little shame I hadn't taken that before. I guess Firekeeper's Prayer is more interesting to me. Not that we're doing a whole lot of Glade event works stuff, but we might. Blight Fighter left. Oh yeah, yeah, we knew that. And put a Harpy in there. We have a lot of production right now. Like a lot of people that could be doing production. Also, okay. Need those pipes, right? All right. What's the new trade route available to us? Grain, coal, and tools. So what do we have in these other glaze actually? I should look at this. We have a lot of stuff. Dewberry bushes, really nice. Upgraded, medium abandoned cash, escaped convicts. Okay, I think we can... Oh, I don't know if we can deal with that one. I know we can accept them, and that doesn't cost any resources, but it's not the greatest, because it gives like minus eight to global resolve, or something like that. Sea marrow deposit, that would be nice to have. More fertile soil. You know what, I think that's what we'll do. Instead of cutting down these trees here, we'll head for the small glade, and then opening the small glade will give us a treasure stag, who's going to lead us to a dangerous glade. And when we open that dangerous glade, we do lose a villager, which is, you know, unfortunate, but we'll gain whatever the treasure stag gives us, as well as what's in that glade. I think we can deal with all these. Ancient shrine, I don't, yeah, I don't really remember what, large destroy camera, I don't remember what those things require. That's definitely some, uh, an area I need to improve in, but, um, whatever it is, I'm sure we can deal with it. And then we'll have some amber that we can buy stuff from a trader with, thanks to a gift from the, gift from the woods. Uh... Oh, you know what? Let's get this opened up before the gift from the woods triggers. Everybody gets a little upset. Hopefully we can open this glade to increase our hostility. Having wood cards will increase our hostility as well, I guess. Okay. We, there you go. So people are happy. I'm going to, before this triggers, I'm going to add more wood cards. Actually, more wood cards will not increase our hostility further, but we can get close. What does the cornerstone say? Woodcutter's prayer. Plus one to wood production to lose all stored fuel on picking this cornerstone. Or calling the force will reduce our hostility by 40 every time we complete an empathy event. I do like that. I don't see us completing many events though. How much wood or fuel do we have? We have four wood in stock and 10 coal in stock. Okay. Let's take woodcutter's prayer. It helps our wood production. We like wood. Um, five hostility or five hostility means we just gained a good amount of amber. Trapper's camp needs to be moved. We are actually out of spots, so I'm very glad that we're opening this glade right now. Have a look at the trade routes. Trading leather is certainly an option. I can do that. Unfortunately, we don't have much to trade, so two amber for selling off our packs of provisions. Oh, we have infinite reeds. Let's do that. There you go. That's a much better deal. Two amber per pack of provision. And this woodcutter's camp. We're going to move them over here as well get oh I should get more people in here from I guess the kiln run out of resources cookhouse is important yeah we'll take the kiln guy out and this guy as well all right we'll have five woodcutters they have plus one to wood production though which is amazing it's a really big boost the harpies are going to be happy at some point I think Oh no, sorry, that's that's from what would happen if I favored them. Alright, we'll favor them. Just to gain some reputation. Point 13 is not bad. Opening this glade will give us no food, but from there we'll be opening a dangerous glade, which will give us food. Yeah, we ran out of meat production, huh? Newcomers, perfect. We want planks. We, we're doing fine on planks. We don't need more planks. Eggs are nice. Oh, I don't know. Um, we need to build more human houses, which are going to require a bunch of planks. Yeah, let's take the planks here. And herbs. And hopefully they'll chop down this tree. I guess one thing with the Woodcutter's Prayer is that they get more wood per tree, which means they have to deliver it more frequently. Alright, we're going into here. You know what? That's actually quite convenient because it's uh, it's pretty close. Otherwise, we'd be traveling further. 
And I'm going to move these guys over here and just start chopping our way into the glade from this direction as well. That hopefully we don't have to make a, a trek around the trees. We could also just chop down those trees. Zorg, do you have bricks? He does not have bricks. Okay. He does have tools though. We only have 35 amber, I guess. What we really want to do is see what's in this glade. I'd love it if they could do that, but they're delivering instead. So we'll move this woodcutter over. Uh, we just have no space. <laughs> A herbalist can't be moved. That's easy. No problem. I think. Yeah, put them there. Chop those trees. I think Zork's going to be gone before we get in there. Uh, treasure stag. Yep, that's what we're aiming for. Forge camp is out as well, apparently. Yeah, we actually run out of all the resources. Huh. We have more people. I'll put one of them into the woodcutter's camp. Get that tree. Do it. Zork's still here okay good we get to see what's here so first of all treasure stag let's do that it'll share some of his riches with you or if we do curse treasure it is actually a corruption event so that uh cornerstone i passed up the for the stormforge stone i stopped with uh and this is an empty deci decision i should have kept that in mind we have an empty decision with the treasure stag oh well we gain plus one global resolve and 25 amber pretty handy the large destroyed caravan requires amber, which we have, and packs provisions, which we don't, and we cannot purchase those. So we'll have to make some of them. Um, towards that end, we can buy a bunch of herbs. We make packs provisions out of those. And... Hang on. Just real quick. Let's get ourselves that makeshift post constructed. And we're, yeah, we're definitely going to buy the herbs. We need 30 amber, so don't send more than 40 here. What else could we purchase though? Planting and harvesting. Look at all this farmer stuff. Wow. Trader drive quicker. I'd rather buy goods. Well, that's all of our amber, really. I guess we can purchase some meat. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Human houses and get ourselves a hearth going would be great. Put it right there. I'm going to move these guys over. I want to get this part of the forest chopped down. We'll just tell them to do this in any way they like. Uh, low on food, apparently. Trappers can't... Oh, human died. Oh, because we opened this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Our ancient bag finally cost us something. We don't have much food in here, actually. That's scary. We'll move the trappers camp, at least. We do have some foods for them. We'll put it right there. But uh, yeah, there's definitely not as much food as I was hoping for. And we used our stone at some point. Not sure when that happened. I thought I had disabled... Oh, in the kiln. I didn't disable it in the kiln. Alright, that's my mistake. We're making some jerky. I definitely want to have those packs of provisions going. We're going to turn off using herbs and other recipes for the time being. Just to make sure that we have enough for those packs of provisions. So, don't use them here. And don't use them here. Oh yeah, use them there. That's fine. Field kitchen... I'm not making resources in the field kitchen anyhow. It no longer exists. Farmers. Uh, we have enough blight fuel, no problem. Turning off these other packs for now, but we will probably end up making packs building materials because we have a lot. Yeah, use whatever you like for this. We only have herbs right now, so that's fine. Four packs at a time for six herbs means we certainly have enough this caravan. In fact, I may as well send somebody over to start carrying goods. They can carry the amber over and then bring the packs of provisions once they have enough amber, or once they have enough made. Low on food. Uh, we do need housing. Doing okay. We're doing quite well on resources now. Little materials. Two, three, four, and then a park as well. And that... Oh, we need six, actually. Hold on. I can count. Here we go. Those two more. I'm not placing these very in a very organized fashion. I'll move this trapper's camp down a little bit. There we go. That will be eight houses for that order. And are we delivering these? That's okay. They'll work on it. These guys are carrying the amber over anyway. Oh, and I should have somebody in here. 
Uh, we only have one builder. Hold on. What do we take out of? I could take them out of the stone cutters camp. There you go. We've caught up on bricks again. That's nice. I think building a bathhouse is going to be one of our next steps. We do have the resources. Regular baths and good health. Those effects are okay. Um, regular baths reduces the speed with which people leave, I think. I don't remember what good health does. We'll check. Good health. Oh, global production speed is 25% faster. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Speaking of which, I should probably upgrade this to a level 2 hearth. But we'll let them build the houses first. Definitely want to have some roofs over our heads. I am favoring harpies at the moment. I think that's okay. We'll probably keep favoring them during the storm. Hostility is going to be extremely high. We're at 4 hostility, which means greater threat is in play. Yeah. Huh. Um, we do want people burning down those cysts more quickly for us. We'll work in the kiln for better coal and other resource production. We're doing okay on wood? We're doing okay on wood. I should have had more people in the kiln for a while. I guess we were lacking in workers though, so. Not terrible. They're bringing the last packs of provisions. I'm going to stop making packs of provisions. I'd rather have a source of food. We can use those herbs in other recipes again. Oh, herbs. Down here. You guys are now allowed to use them for forage, as well as biscuits. Yeah. Mid houses are going up. Packs of stuff we'll make eventually for rations for the Citadel. I... Well, we'll wait until someone's actually upset, and then we'll have to start burning goods in the hearth. Low on food, not good. Treasure Day, we know about that. We know about the corruption. And... Yeah, okay. Forge Camp has nowhere to go. I am definitely concerned about the food situation. And we have a good amount of farms. In fact, we can build another one. But... Like, we just finished clearance season, and we're already saying we're low on food. So it's not great. Not great. I could burn the wood. I could burn the coal. We'll burn two wood or one coal. I guess we'll burn one bunch of coal right now. And if I stop favoring the harpies, they still want to leave. Okay. Oh, there you go. Boxes are okay. Good. Oh, now they're not. We'll stop favoring the harpies. Uh, Forge camp. I've still got these guys sitting around just waiting, hoping that we find some vegetables. I guess I could open... Um, this has another drizzle water geyser. We don't really need it. We, we're generating enough. Stone tooth termite burrow would be wonderful. That generates free insects every minute. Five insects every minute would be easy food. Dewberry bush. There's three of those, so we can certainly gather those with our herbalist camp and some mushrooms as well. Unfortunately, it's only those things. I'd rather find... I mean, that's pretty good, right? Mushrooms are good. Berries are good. We definitely use both of those. I guess we'll open that glade. Not this moment. Wait a little bit. I also want to build a park. And a path. This thing is going to be completed for 0.75 reputation. Pretty handy. I don't need to be burning the coal at this moment, but we will in a second. Alright, so now we need to burn it. We also need to burn some wood. Oh, we're out of coal. Okay. I think we're just going to lose a harpy or two. The, again, the impatience is not terribly concerning to me at this point. And losing workers is sad, but not the end of the world either. However, losing all three species would be bad, so we won't do that if we can avoid it. Um, yeah, and if we fear the harpies, then we're okay. So we'll survive on burning just one wood. That's okay. Makeshift post would not... This is not the time for that. It's interesting, we haven't gotten better production for any of those packs. But that's okay. We are actually able to produce twice as much because of this order over here, right? Expert specialization. Not twice as much, but plus one on every production run. So we do make a decent amount. Plus 
Plus three to human resolve is great, but it also accepts four people and that would increase our hostility. So we'll wait until after the storm to complete that order. And for the same reason, we will not accept more newcomers at this time. Okay, so new cornerstone, what do we have? Filling dish and tanning racks, better forage production. Yeah, we'll take that, sure. We're not producing a ton of tears of water, but it helps. Selling reeds is free, basically, but we don't have the packs of provisions, so it's not actually free. Human relations, we'll get that. We get another building blueprint with a rain mill or a monastery. We are doing fine on the flower. I guess better pack building materials production is nice. The green brew, though, minus 100 hostility. I would certainly like to have that. And our buildings only cost half as much. So getting this up and running is not that costly for us. We'll put it up here. I definitely prefer that over the bathhouse at this time. And trade routes, I already checked this. Selling leather is an option. But yeah, again, we're lacking packs provisions. I guess we could sell these. Sure. Free amber, why not? And newcomers, do I need newcomers? Really? I think we're doing okay on builders. Workers and stuff in general. Actually, 54 wheat would be pretty cool. That helps. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, if I were to stop favoring the harpies, that doesn't make the foxes immediately happy, but then we could favor the foxes and gain a lot more reputation per minute. Not a ton more, I guess. All right, we are gonna have to open this glade for food. So let's get our people in here. Let's uh, one, two, three on the foxes. And we got a lot of humans, wow. Okay, move those. Oh. Move those guys down. Can I fit them in here? Doesn't look like it. Not at all. Okay. We're gonna have to do this in stages then. We'll, uh... One, two, three, four. Cut out a little area for our woodcutter's camp. Impatience minus 0.5 from reputation. Okay. We do have enough for the next forbidden altar cornerstone. We're doing okay on food. That's good to see. Herbalist camp has no deposits nearby. I have nowhere to bring you until we chop down the trees over here. Z Danny has what do you have? Better coat production. I should actually get the coat production going. A herb garden. We're okay on gardens and stuff. Farm land. 40 amber gets us some stone. We could open caches with that. Actually, I'd like to find copper. If we can find copper crystallized dew, then we could make tools in our tool shop. That would be really nice to do. I think we're all right. Like, we could open those caches for resources. What do the caches have, actually? Maybe there's a cache with copper in it. Maybe that's the way. So this one has some stuff that's nice, but not game-changing. Villager speed is pretty cool, actually. Maybe I buy 20 stone just to make... Oh, what am I saying? Well, I guess right now we need these guys chop, uh, cutting the stone. The clay. But... If we get a guy working on the sea marrow, we can just open cash with the sea marrow. Let's do that. Can I place some? Oh my gosh. We were really struggling for space. Here. Cut down that tree. That's funny. Well, I mean, we're using it. Um, yeah, do I? I'm not going to buy the stone just for the cash then, given that's the case. How much would it cost for 20 stone? Five. That's not that bad, actually. Um... I could buy a lot of bricks. You know what? I am a fan of buying a lot of bricks. Let's just do that. There you go. How are we on planks? 23 planks. And we don't have much wood. Well, we're really low on wood. But we can build... I don't know that we need more houses, actually. Need for pie fulfilled. Does she have pie? No, she has biscuits. Okay. So a blueprint for pie production would be great. Alright, monastery is going up. We can put people in there, reduce our hostility. What am I saying? We have four homeless people. How did that happen? Okay, I guess we do need housing. That's funny. I can obviously put humans in here to keep them a little bit happier. And reduce our hostility is wonderful. I think... What are we going to do? Um, we're going to get some food over here. Stone Tooth Termite Burrow and the Herbalist stuff. There's a water geyser. 
she didn't have any copper for us. Hmm. Yeah, in terms of reputation, we're really just relying on resolve at this point. Well, that's not the end of the world. We can do it. Um, if I tell them to chop down that tree, maybe they'll get in there sooner. Those harpies are happy. But yeah, like we would be... Oh, oh yeah, we opened the place, so a cook died. And we'll replace that cook with uh, a human. No, no, with a harpy. Okay, so termite burrow. We can tame this using tools. Good. I had forgotten what it required, so I'm, I'm glad it turned out to be something we had. Minus five to global resolve while working on this. It takes five minutes to work on, and we are entering the storm. They'll have it completed within three minutes, 40 seconds, which is actually pretty quick. So we can go investigate that. I'm fine with doing it now. And the herbless camp is something we want to move down here for the berry production. That's nice. We had a harpy just sitting there waiting. Um, also, I want to get that stonecutter's camp going. We can use the sea marrow to speed up that event if need be. Our people are unhappy. They ran out of food of some kind. We'll stop favoring them. Uh, the jerky production. Okay. Well, soon we'll have a bunch of insects, so we'll be able to make some more jerky. And I'll put humans in here for now. Did we get fertile soil down here? Yes, we did. So, that is an option as well. I know I haven't built any small warehouses, which is probably affecting... Oh, production speed. Hold on. This is also affecting production speed. Let's build a garden and a park to increase our production speed with the neighborhood. And then this guy has 10 out of 14. This guy has 12 out of 14. Pretty close. If we accept more humans, then we will have enough housing, I think. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's only 12. We need more houses, actually. Put a harpy house in? Sure. And then we can build a park and a garden over here as well. If we had the space. Put it there. Build ourselves that park and garden. Oh. There we go. We're good. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. Alright. Well, we'll move that over here. Easily done. Yeah. Right here. There's a lot of clay on the map. The storm is coming. We have a minute remaining on this. I am concerned about the resolve, so I am going to burn some of this sea barrel. Just to super boost the termite burrow. 40 seconds remain. Low on food. And I'm going to check the trader's leather again. Yeah, we're not in a situation where we... What, how much was it? Two amber. Okay, sure. We'll see, whatever. Send off that one pack of provisions. Yeah, everybody's really upset. We can remove people. We have minus 100 hostility from the monastery, but it's not quite good enough. Okay, survivor bonding. Plus three to global resolve and 25% villager speed. I think that's incredible. Rebellious spirit. I love rebellious spirit. Uh, plus one global resolve for every one impatience point. So we'd be getting five global resolve right now. Holy crap. And metallurgic proficiency. This one's really good with storm force because it gives plus one to copper bar and crystallized dew production. And 66% production speed. But I think I have to take five global resolve. That's a tough one. Five global resolve or three global resolve and villager speed. But this one's going to scale. As our impatience grows, we're... Holy crap, how much impatience can you have? Five, ten-ish. This could be giving you, like, at over ten. Over ten global resolve. We'll be taking that for sure. Amazing. Rebellious Spirits is so cool. Um, unfortunately, plus five to global resolve is not quite enough to keep our people happy, though. Melancholy because of a lack of complex foods, apparently. Are we not able to make biscuits? Nope. Okay. Um, they're about to finish this. Eight seconds. I think we're just going to let a harpy go. Save ourselves some fuel. The termite burrow can be moved over here. It's generating us some insects. We're going to lose a harpy. You know what? Maybe losing people is great now because uh, it gains us impatience, which gains us resolve. That's so funny. And lowers hostility. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's just lose more people, and then we'll get more newcomers in this Drizzle season. No problem. Humans are already happy. A cook left. I would like to keep our food production, though. Actually, that's a concern. We're running out of food. Do we have hunger? We do have hunger. Is there anything I can do about this, though? I could build another trapper's camp. I could build another herbal camp, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, we have the parts. Why not? Okay, losing people a little quickly. Trapper. Uh, I do want to replace that person. Newcomers are here. I'm going to let our hostility go down one here. And... Okay, we'll let it go down to one again. Herbalist left. We don't want to lose our herbalists. Take our RP out of there and put a human in. Alright, there we go. Hostility down. People are somewhat more happy. We're still going to lose a harpy just because... And we'll be okay. Alright, so another herbalist left. Let's take out... What else do we have? Supplier is kind of important. Take him out of the kiln. That's okay. Put a couple of foxes in the kiln. And harpy over here. What else do we lose? Trapper again? Or is that the same ones before? That's the same ones before... Firekeeper left. Oh, wow. I guess we'll put a human in the fire keep. Okay. That should be good, except for the lack of food. What an interesting strategy. So, if we had taken that Stormforge Blood Price contract, we would be super wealthy right now. I guess we can accept people. Our hostility is okay. I like the grain and eggs. Food production is good. Also, I did forget... I did forget to build that cooperage. Did I? Yeah, I totally did forget. So, Cooperage here for two star coats. We want that because coat production makes coats, which makes people happy. Tea production is another option, but I'd rather use something else for it. Um, and I'd rather just not use our uh, metal goods. Burning wood is kind of an option. Burning coal is a better one at this point. Actually, in fact, I'm going to say use coal instead of these other things. Burn the wood. Okay. Storm is basically over. We find without burning more wood. And then we can get some wood guys going. So, new cornerstone, green delivery line or lost in the wilds. I think we'll take the green delivery line. It's kind of funny. Lost in the wilds in con conjunction with ancient pact means we both lose and gain somebody whenever we open a dangerous forbidden glade. Kind of like that. But we're not going to take it. So, harpies in the herbless camp. I thought I had already put them in there, but obviously not. Where's the other woodcutters camp? It's up here. Okay. Barlow has stuff for us. I only have nine amber, apparently. Oh, the the woodlands. Get from the woodlands is about to hit. Bam. 35 amber now, I think. Yeah, look at that. That's such a good drizzle modifier. Better crystallized dew production doesn't help us. Oh, accumulated dew. dew. Gain two crystallized dew for every 10 berries produced. That is exactly what we're looking for. That is really nice. Okay. Excellent. We can sell some of our reeds without using packs of provisions, so let's just do that. What else should we sell? We have the copper. We have so much copper ore. What am I doing? Do I have any way of making copper ore into bars? Ooh, wildfire essence. We could build another hearth. The three wildfire essence. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, let's build ourselves a, a fourth hearth. A third hearth? Fourth hearth, right? Why is this... Oh, no, it shows a three. Awesome. The cooperage. Let's just make more coats. We'll get somebody in there. Uh, we need more builders now. Whoops. Maybe I was in the wrong to let all those people go. Take them out of the stone cars camp. Where's the other stone cars camp, actually? Uh, we moved them over for play. There's one guy working on that. Okay. Alright. Well, one guy is working the cooperage right now. Ah, foxes like to do it. I can replace a fox in the woodcutter's camp. Put him in the cooperage. And the foxes are happy. And the harpies are happy. Excellent. 0.47 per minute is very good.
Okay, new building blueprint. Market and a rain mill. I think... Uh, I think we'll take the rain mill for the better packs of building materials production. I don't really care for it. Let's re-roll and hope we get pie production. Greenhouse or an artisan? Um, I do like greenhouses. You know what? We're, we're running low on food. We have drizzle geysers available to us. Let's take the greenhouse and build them. And this is going to be a big help. Now, greenhouses... We're going to want to warehouse all the way out here, I think. We certainly have enough resources for it, so that's not a problem. And low on food is obviously the case. Mushrooms and herbs are happy to produce both. I wonder if we should just build a second greenhouse right away, though. Hmm. I'm going to. We can honestly, we can take people out of our regular farms. I, I'm no, nah, I won't replace the regular farms. What happened here? Why are they so happy? Okay, I'm not complaining. I do have homeless people, apparently. I could remove... Well, we're not going to replace... Uh, we could build one fox house. Nah, nah. We'll build a harpy house here and a few human houses. Everything costs so little. You know what? Cheap construction is actually amazing. <laughs> I guess I hadn't really thought through the impact of... You know what? We'll build one... Oh, no. We ran out of crystallized view. Okay. Another hard guess. Um, I hadn't really thought through how much, uh, how much building materials the houses cost, and how much cheap construction impacts that. That is really nice. Gaining 0.55 per minute, looking pretty good. I do need more builders. Oh, but we also need more food. What are we doing on the wood? Can we remove some woodcutters? 146, okay. Not, not enough that I can comfortably remove the woodcutters. We have a lot of water available to us at the moment. Got another building blueprint, nice. A furnace for pies, yes, please. We put this pie production right next to the warehouse. Apparently we don't have enough for forage. It's all you guys work on. We can make pipes. There you are. And this place as well. Okay. Storm time. We don't have the housing up, but we do have a greenhouse. Where can we grab some humans? I guess we'll grab them from the woodcutters camp because the storm's about to hit. Okay, resolve is low. We need to reduce our hostility a little bit further. Wow, even with greater effect active, our people are still happy enough. That's nice. Put somebody in here. Right away. Okay. Newcomers. Do we want newcomers? I guess we do, because we have a lot of housing to build. Our bricks are doing fine. We'll take these guys for food. It also made our harpies unhappy at first. Unfortunately, I favor them. Getting a harpy house up. That is going to help a little bit. Apparently not. Oh no, that's not a harpy house, that's a greenhouse. Hang on, we'll put some humans in here as well. We're, oh, we're running low on drizzle water very quickly. So get a guy in that, but also we have another drizzle water guys are right there. Guys are pumped. We've run out of planks apparently. Okay. This fire. At least to make more planks. We don't get, oh, we're doing, we've got so much flour. How did we end up with 66 flour when we have a limit of 40? Huh. Oh, oh, I meant to unfavor them. There you go. All right, houses are going up. That helps with the human resolve. We want to help the harpy resolve. Do I burn goods? I think I will. Actually, if we could favor them. We can't. I could burn... Uh, burning the coal doesn't quite get us there, but we'll burn up one coal and one wood. Look at that. Okay. Easy. And apart. Actually, that would have been a good way to get more resolve. For sure. We need more people here, though. They've got too many fancy houses everywhere else. The Hilda... 
Um, before I buy from you, I'd like to check what we have. Fiber delivery line and giant vegetables. Uh, you know what? We are producing vegetables for sure. Let's take that. We don't need the fiber delivery line because we already have a reed delivery line. Upgrade to Trapper's Camp doesn't help us much. Builder move speed is nice. One global resolve is nice too. Um, yeah, we'll take the villager move speed. Harpies are happy. Oh, so happy. I don't have any tools. Oh, I should probably get some woodcutters going. Wait a second. Did I remove my woodcutter? Yeah, I did. I did. We're good. <laughs> For a moment there, I was like, I forgot to remove the woodcutters during the storm. But. No problem. Okay, so we have going up. We haven't built ourselves a geyser pump here yet. We are out of drizzle water. I guess building a path down to these guys would help a little bit with that. When we get the time to build it. We have a lot of building requirements. I think we'll remove these guys. We don't have the drizzle water for them anyway. They can help build. We don't have enough population to fill these houses. A uh, fox would be great. Where do we take a fox out of? The cookhouse? We've got a furnace up and running. Hang on. Oh, we've got so many places for people to work. Bricks. Two-star bricks. Hang on. Hold the phone. Let's take off the one-star bricks and work on two-star bricks. We can take this harpy out of here. Put them in this place instead. And we can now make copper bars. The furnace was a perfect pickup. That's amazing. Uh, we will only use... Oh my goodness, we have so much sea marrow. Yeah, let's use sea marrow and coal. I'm fine with either one. As well as making pies, obviously. Making bricks. That's some good stuff. We're not going to use the stone because I'd rather use that to open caches if we really wanted to. And building a tool shop will be help. Because now we can make our copper. I'm telling them to build so much stuff. Greenhouses just removes all concern for food. It's amazing. Just produce infinite food, please. Year round. As long as we have the drizzle water. Speaking of which, where, what about those foxes? Cookhouse, take them out. I don't think we need a stonecutter's camp anymore. Right, are we doing okay on clay? 41 clay, we have a bunch of stone. We're fine. Oh, I saw them have some high resolve for a moment there. We're still getting 0.66, just... Oh, 0.43. Okay. 0.43 from just the fox is pretty good. Can I do anything? I guess I could burn some fuel or remove some woodcutters. And that would lower our hostility. There we go. That's how we get all three species happy. Plus 1.14 per minute. Wow. Woodcutters can't needs to be moved. Well, you know what? Let's take them out. We need more workers building things and making tools and so on. I'll, oh yeah, keep the pipe production enabled, disable it here. Actually, at this point, do we need pipes? Not really, no. I'll take the pipe production off, just make tools, please. Yeah. Yeah. No limit on those. Use up the planks. Okay, we're still gaining 0.72. I don't think we need any buildings. Lumber mill is pretty cool. I'll take it, but I'm not gonna build it. Actually, Maybe I will, because it looks like we've successfully built everything. I thought we had a lot more buildings that we were waiting for. Okay. I, I can put humans into this. Nah. Here, let's get ourselves a lumber mill. For fun. Uh, any jobs remaining? How are we doing on corruption? Oh, we need a little bit more fuel. This one person can manage with what they have. They can make two fuel in the next three minutes, I hope. Free workstation is being used for fabric. What? Why is the brick still enabled? I could have sworn I disabled that ages ago. All right. Well, sometimes you got to double check these things, I guess. Packs of goods. We can make flour. Packs of trade use? Sure. Um, I'm going to say a limit of... Let's say 10. And then packs of provisions and building materials. Uh, oh, yeah. We have an order for them. So, why not? Sure, I'm going to say don't use meats because those are more of a rare resource. And we have a lot of copper. Wow. Actually, don't bother making these right now. I will make tax provisions. Sure. We can do that. 
Crafters camp has no deposits nearby. Really? Oh, we ran out of meat. Okay, that's right. We have a greenhouse. We'll be just fine, I think. Did I have a second guy in here? Yes. Put humans in the greenhouse to offset the, the loss of food income from the trapper's camp. They have a lot of berries left to gather. Wonderful. Okay. Well, I think we should favor somebody just to gain some amount of reputation. 39, not enough. We could favor the harpies. We cannot favor the humans, so harpies it is. 0.25 per minute, not bad. Yeah, how are we doing those tools, actually? Zero in stock. Oh, 18 in stock. Nice. Good job. Lumber mill's going. I'll turn off plant production at the supplier. You guys just worry about the flour, which you're already maxed out on, but we'll be making trade goods at some point, I think, so um, that'll consume some flour. I don't think we need to accept people at this time. I hope we have enough wood. I can check that. 155 wood. Yeah, and we're only using it to make coal, which is more efficient fuel, or to make planks very, very efficiently at the lumber mill, so we are not going to be in need of wood. We could have prayer, or a woodland. Doing pretty well. Our hostility will need to go down a little bit here. I guess unfavoring the harpies would help a bit. <laughs> With the foxes, anyway. Fox resolve. Do we have the pipes for other stuff? Oh, shoot. Apparently she did not make enough virgin fire, but also, more importantly, I didn't have people in here to help her burn this stuff. So, kiln worker, we lost somebody there. We'll put them in. A monk died. That's no good. Hold on. We need the monks because they reduce our hostility. Small farms, the cookhouse. Apparently we lost somebody in the cookhouse as well. I can put a couple of boxes to help her out. With that, did I remove the woodcutters? I did. Okay. Well, I mean, it lowered our hostility, so in a way that was good. Hopefully we don't lose more people to the corruption here. Yeah, that was a whoops. I'm not going to accept more people right now because it would put us over the hostility threshold. We can work on sending things to the Citadel once we have more people available to us. Dangerous Glade events completed is not likely to happen. I could do it. I think we'll just finish the game with some caches. We have two medium caches and a large cache. That's enough reputation. Unfortunately, we're going to lose more people. That's sad. I guess I'll accept some people right now just to replace them. Um, although, we're going to be accepting more people than we lost, which means we would go over that hostility threshold again. Distillery worker died. Yeah, you know what? We can afford it. We can burn goods if we need to. So, we'll take some stone. Doesn't really matter. A uh, farmer died over here. Distillery worker died over here. And a herbalist died down here. One from each species. Alright. Yeah, it's interesting, eh? So, once we get to a certain point in the game, it, it's definitely a good idea to build a second light post. There's no real reason for me not to have done that. This game, I just didn't think that the corruption was an issue. I'll put it down for now. There you go. There you go. Um, there you go. And we're favoring the Harpies. If we stop favoring them, we still have enough resolve for the threshold. And the humans are almost there. It's quite close. So, Thur, you can sell us something cool, right? I guess you can sell us some coats. We're probably lacking coats. We are. They're not able to keep up with production demands. We can lower our hostility as well. That's six amber and the hostility reduction. That helps. And then we can just sell this. Actually, we can sell our trade goods. Many of those six trade goods for those coats, as well as what else do we want? Herbs. We don't have enough herbs. <laughs> Our greenhouses. Okay, that's good. Reinforced axes. We'll just take that for the irony of having more wood. Actually, we're not even going to put woodcutters in. We just want the resolve. Send to the citadel. Send to the citadel. Probably not even going to have time to. Oh, I guess resolve is dropping a little bit. And this as well. And we're still working on making those tools, but once they're complete, then we'll be done. So winning in year ten isn't the fastest for sure, but I I'm fine with it. We needed to win before year sixteen. Year ten is before year sixteen. No worries. 
And this was a little bit of a messy one where I let a lot of people die, but I think that was a more of a strategic loss. Or not die, I let them leave. The dying at the end there was not intentional. That was just an oversight on my part. But yeah, I think we strategically let, let people leave early on just to save fuel. And gaining impatience is helpful when you have rebellious spirits. Man, rebellious spirits stormforged. One global resolve for every one impatience point. What is it normally? Is it one for every three impatience points? I, I don't actually remember what it normally is. To be honest, reading that makes me think that that is what it normally is. I don't know. Obviously it's better. Must be. So, back to the world map. We, uh, we had a pretty good settlement there. Did decently well. Okay, we'll take the supply package because we want those reserve embarkation points. I want to give myself as good a possibility, as good a chance at winning this adamantine seal. Spark to crystals. I'm not going to go over there and do that. It would require prestige 20 and also just start us off with six impatience. Which would be fine if we had Rebellious Spirits, but we don't have a guarantee of that. Mm, we need two more seal fragments, eh? We have all the time in the world for this next settlement. All we need to worry about is being within range of the seal. One, two, three. So we could go here, but we couldn't go here. So we could go to either Spark 2 Crystals, which I'm against doing, or to the Flooded Mines. I think that's probably what we'll do. Hostility doesn't grow with each passing year, but you'll gain two hostility points per villager. It's very, very interesting because when we have a settlement that we can take as long as we want on in terms of cycle time, that means taking longer doesn't hurt us because uh, hostility doesn't grow with each passing year. Hmm. Two more hostility points per villager. How much does that really affect us? I don't think that's too bad. Right? You have 40, vill 40 villagers means 80 hostility points. Is flooded mines just a positive? Don't you get 80 hostility from years passing, like, within just a few years? I think this is actually a, a positive for us. So we're definitely going to go there. We'll do it on Prestige 16. Take as long as we want. Gain some seal fragments so that we can actually complete the seal. We have 103 out of 105. And then, uh, and then gain four more reserve embarkation points for when we go to do the seal. That sounds like a plan.